We left our previous adventure off in Normandy, France. Before returning to England, I have a mission to get a tattoo in Paris to continue my tattoo in every country I visit goal. It is so beautiful. It's so beautiful! All right, I'm, she's double parked right there. We just had to look at the Eiffel Tower before, before we left. So we're in Paris, my go heart is beating because I've just been running around. The traffic here is insane, but this is the Eiffel Tower. You know, being in the big cities and stuff and finding the tourist destinations is just stressful. And it's cool to see the monuments and stuff, but it's just, the Eiffel Tower is not that cool looking. Getting this tattoo is going to be a bit of a time crunch, but if all goes according to plan, I'll have just enough time to board my train back to England. I hit up an amazing tattoo artist named Johnny Gloom. Okay, so the tattoo is done and I have no room for error getting to the train station. I don't want to get stranded alone in Paris. I got my tattoo, now I'm wandering around. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know how to use the transit system here. I don't, even, I don't know if I'm going to a bus or a railway. I'm just following Google Maps. So I'm on the time crunch now. I don't know if we can get there. But like, I'm just like walking, my leg is throbbing. We'll get there. Right, so I made it on the train. And it was, wasn't too bad, it wasn't too hard. And I'm on my way. I'm often very proud of myself when I'm all alone in these countries and I successfully figure out the transit system as it's so different in every country. I love riding trains above all of their transport because it feels the most peaceful. Not the Paris train station though, that place is not peaceful. <laughs> In a matter of a few hours, we're back in the land of the British. The new goal now is to put an entire Lara Croft outfit together for a last minute photo shoot with UK shooters. I'm going to Oxford Street right now, which is where I got my phone stolen before. I might even go into TK Maxx, the exact location it was stolen, and I haven't been back there since. But I need to find these shorts. I, I don't know what I'm going to wear for bottoms if I can't find these Lara Croft shorts, or at least pants that I can cut into shorts. So let's go to the area of trauma, find these elusive shorts, which are very hard to find in this time of year. I hate Oxford Street, I hate it here. I'm so aggravated being here. But I got my Lush stuff and now we're going to look in Uniqlo, see if we have something there. The last piece of the puzzle was to try and find a toy gun, but they didn't really have any good options, so I ended up not getting a gun. I also got all the gel taken off my nails. Um, also, gel nail polish makes my nails really weak, so I think I'm going to stop putting on gel. It'll also save money. I don't have any more time today to go anywhere else to look for any shorts, so... And lastly, I got my Amazon package for the remainder pieces of my outfit. I'm so tired of people asking me if I will buy drugs from them and I'm so tired of people in general. I'm back and I got my Amazon package of the accessories for this outfit. I, don't, I still don't know what to do about the pants. I, I just want them to be shorts. I don't want them to be pants. So I. I'm gonna cut them, but I just feel like I'm gonna ruin them. And they were expensive. I hope this is everything. 
see. Okay, so these are the leg holsters. Oh, and this, this is the hair. This is uh, like 10 pounds and this is like 20 pounds, but it's two holsters. Belt. She has like a, a braid and I could just put this in. It doesn't really match my hair, but no color would really match it because of the fact that it's multicolored. This outfit was actually pretty expensive now I think about it. Like, the thing about it is though, is I can reuse all this stuff. And I love Lara Croft, so it's good to have a costume. I don't know how realistic this is gonna look, but I'll figure it out. Awesome. I thought this would be a bit thicker. I have to somehow braid it in. And I'll just braid this hair. Most. So, the challenge is going to be to be able to get to this event and also move at the same time. And yes, at the same time. So, I'll update you with my full look and we'll also move into an actual uh, apartment. Apartment is like a room in a, it's a house share thing, but it's a commitment. I actually signed a lease for it and everything. So I'm literally moving into a real London home. Um, hopefully I can swing it, but a lot of craft can I? Okay, I barely managed to even do my makeup. I, I need to finish getting rid of the venue if I even have time. I'm so late. Um, I got half of my outfit on, but I am stressed out. I'm very stressed out. Let's go, let's leave. I, I don't even have time to get my other camera out. Strap broke, I have way too much stuff. I need to go and make it over to the venue, which I think is hard to find. And I don't even know if I blended all my makeup in properly, but... I off at a certain time. So I got it half off. Maybe the things we do don't have to make sense to everyone. Maybe we all make our own meaning out of this existence. I think the best meaning we can make is to learn and embrace adventure in your inner child. But maybe I'm just reaching for a clever ending for this video. In any case, stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>